How's it going, New World? Sephir here, and today we are going to be presenting a Blunderbuss Guide series. This is going to be a three-part series, so in today's video, we will be covering a single-target Blunderbuss damage build. In the following video, on another day, we will be talking about an AoE damage build for the Blunderbuss, and the third and final video on a separate day, we'll be talking about the perks, the gems, the abilities, and all of that good stuff that you're going to need to succeed with the Blunderbuss. So the Blunderbuss is a fantastic weapon. I have been spending quite a lot of my time with it, and I have leveled it up to level 20. And along so along the way, I kind of tested a lot of things, and I figured out what was working best for me, and I learned a lot about the weapon itself. So when we talk about the Blunderbuss, the first thing we want to keep in mind is a close quarters shotgun. Essentially, it's a sort of mid-range weapon. It fires six bullets that do 23% damage each, so that is 130. 38% damage total. Now this is quite a decent amount considering the bullets fire very fast and you can reload quickly as well. So it is probably one of the higher light attack damages within the game. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at the attribute section. So we're going to break this video down into a few areas here. It's going to be attributes first, then we're going to talk about the build itself. So we'll dive into attributes here. And as you can see on my screen, I have 300 strength, but we'll go ahead and respect this a little bit just to demonstrate a little something for you. Um, if we have 129 strength here, we'll go ahead and even that out with intelligence. And as you can see, the blunderbuss is gaining weapon damage on the right side of your screen. If I were to take a lot of my remaining points and dump them into strength, I would go up to 1116 damage with the blunderbuss. And if I were to take those points back and even it up between strength and intelligence again, then I will dump the rest of them into intelligence and you can see that it is slightly lower. So that is 1083. So you will get a little bit more damage scaling with strength, but there is a catch. The Blunderbuss is technically a ranged weapon, so it does not qualify for any bonuses like the 300 light and heavy attacks gaining melee weapons grit or the other things along the way like the increased damage to heavy attacks or light attacks or whatever that may be. So if it says it's categorized as a melee weapon or even for the intelligence side a heavy a magic attack this doesn't count for the blunderbuss so it puts it in a little bit of an awkward spot but the part where intelligence starts to even up is it gets a lot of neutral bonuses like critical hit damage as well as just flat out elemental damage which the blunderbuss does thrust damage and fire damage so it does have a sort of elemental side to it and finally it has some uh, perks like the 30 percent damage over time which the blunderbuss does have a few damage over time abilities mainly around its grenade and the net which we will go ahead and talk about here in a second so once we know that the scaling is pretty much about even it makes the blunderbuss in a unique situation where it can go as a strength based weapon or as an intelligence based weapon whether or not it will outshine some of the counterparts of the strength and intelligence uh, that's going to be to be seen down the line but i think that it is a very strong weapon and it definitely has a lot of burn burst damage it has a lot of burst damage so we'll go ahead and for the sake of this video we're going to go ahead and put all of our damage into strength because when you play the blunderbuss you can mix and match match with strength and intelligence but it's probably better to just pick one because there is no other weapon in the game that scales off of both strength and intelligence so it's going to be very hard to find a weapon pairing with that and if you you kind of divvy up your stats like that you're going to make your second weapon very lackluster or useless in some degree so we'll go ahead and dive into strength here and we'll go ahead and choose that since it has the slightly higher scaling and we'll go ahead and lock that in at 300 next we are going to dive into the section for the skills itself so now we're going to talk about the blunderbuss skill tree it has two skill trees the first one is going to be containment which is basically a single target focused build and then chaos which is going to be an aoe damage focused build on the left side we're going to go ahead and dive in and netshot is a very useful pvp tool however it is not that great in pve and these guides are mostly going to be focused on pve damage you know killing mobs doing expeditions doing mutations dungeons things like that so we're going to go ahead and skip on the net shot for now the first skill that you're going to want to take is Azoth Shrapnel Blast. This is a strong ability. It shoots out five shots 
horizontally in front of you, dealing 58% weapon damage each, and they get lowered a little bit if you hit the same target. So the closer you are, the more damage you're gonna deal, but it's not gonna scale up too far. And then there's a lot of good perks along the way. Everything down to the final talent, which is the Azoth bomb, is gonna be fantastic. This will add a bomb in the center of your shot that will do 100% of the weapon damage, so it's crazy AoE, as well as some abilities that will allow you to gain your cooldown back and also fire additional pellets when you use the ability. So this has the potential to do a lot of damage, especially if you're directly on top of somebody. And speaking of that, the claw shot is going to get you directly on top of somebody. This is an awesome ability. You will shoot out a grappling hook and you will latch onto your target. They will become rooted for a second and you will be pulled towards them, which is exactly what you want with the blunderbuss because that is gonna allow you to get up close and personal where this weapon shines and you are going to get some massive headshots, let me tell you. Uh, you also get stamina regeneration when you go ahead and use this ability, as well as every time you land a pellet on any target, every single pellet will lower the cooldown of this ability, so you're going to be landing your shots and getting this grappling hook back and keep grappling onto your target so you can stick and do a lot of damage. The final ability will give you sort of a free reload when you use the grappling hook, which is fantastic because you will get a second shot and it can go past the maximum two shots, so you will get a technically third shot, so you'll be able to use this. And this is very important for our final talent, which is unload. Unload says, whenever we fire a shot we will now shoot nine pellets instead of six for the next shot fired so you're going to want to weave your ability cooldowns in between your regular light attacks and that's going to allow you to do maximum damage so a nine pellet shot is going to do 207 percent weapon damage which is insane and it actually gets a little bit better because since this is technically a gun you can use the very expensive big baller ammo and you can do 1.2 percent damage modifier so that means you will do 20 percent more damage all the time just by using expensive ammo which is very nice if the gun gun does run out of ammo you can use base ammo which is just the regular modifier or even some of the cheaper stuff so if that's you know money is a concern for you then you can go ahead and make use of some of the lower stuff uh, so that don't worry too much on that but it's just a nice way to boost your damage output here and then finally we will talk about a few passives within this side ramp is a very important passive because every time you reload you will get a damage boost for six seconds and it's going to stack up to four times you're going to be using your abilities very quickly as well as your shots so you will be reloading constantly and this will give you a large damage boost so that's another 20 percent there and then we have deep load which means the last shot in the blunderbuss will do 15 percent increased damage which is going to be very nice especially if that final shot is a nine pellet shot with your abilities so that's going to be everything in the containment side there are a couple other passes but they're just generally like stamina and move speed that aren't that great so now we will dive into the chaos side where we will dump our remaining points and we're going to be talking about this skill the splitting grenade this is a fantastic ability you will launch it and you can press the key again to manually detonate it it will create three little grenades around it and they each explode dealing 85 percent weapon damage it will do a little bit less if you hit the same target so they can't take super massive damage Damage, but it does do quite a lot we will take the talents down below which will be softened which will increase the amount of damage on targets below half and then we will go down and take this which will give us sort of a like haste whenever we hit things with a grenade which is also decent and finally the talent that we are really after the incendiary burst which will allow the grenade impacts to explode dealing dot damage this is where that weapon damage over time is going to come from it's going to do 10 percent per second for 10 seconds and so that's going to be uh 100 weapon damage and it does stack so if they get hit by all three that's gonna be 300 weapon damage which is crazy and it will do a lot of dps and next we are we'll have two passive talents that are very nice here this is going to be bite back which is going to have every pellet that is hitting a headshot is going to reduce all cooldowns by 0.5 so if you have nine pellets hit that headshot it's going to be quite generous somewhere around 
4.5% cooldown refunded just for every single shot that you use, which is quite crazy. And then we have future planning, which will reduce the cooldown of all abilities whenever you use any ability. So that's going to help you refund and recycle these abilities and get them back faster. Um, that's pretty much going to be it for this side of the tree. The Chaos side does have an AoE build, which I will show you a little bit about. And I also have another sneak peek and special video coming up for everyone who has sort of watched this here. Um, I will have a Infinite Mortar blunderbuss build coming up i have figured out some sort of a way to fire infinite mortars so i'm going to show you that just a little fun cheeky video it'll probably be uh really short but let's go ahead and hop out here and maybe get some action on this blunderbuss so i can show you exactly how it plays so we'll go ahead and teleport over to this uh shrine down here and i'll kind of show you the general combo so you can get a good understanding of what the weapon wants to accomplish with this single target damage build and hopefully that will help you going forward into the dungeons into maybe even pvp or into other aspects of the game but it is very straightforward we're gonna go ahead and find our basic bad guy here uh, but what we're gonna want to do is we are gonna want to start with the claw shot which will get us close to our target and then we will go ahead and shoot and i like to zoom in when i shoot because that was a nine pellet shot since we use ability we'll use a second ability and then if we need to we can shoot again and that mob was kind of weak, so maybe we'll try it on a more elite monster here. Uh, but you can kind of see the general game plan. So again, we're going to grappling hook in. We're going to go ahead and shoot him. Blast our other ability. Shoot again. And then we're going to activate our bomb and do our final shot. So that's the three-shot combo. And as you can see, these guys are pretty much already dead because they got the burn and the bleed on them. I don't even need to do anything else here, right? Um, so the, the main point of this is that... This weapon will do a lot of damage, especially if you get in the nitty gritty, and especially if you hit some like headshots up close. I know there's probably some super FPS pros out there that could probably hit every single one, uh, but that could definitely be something that will allow you to do a lot of DPS with this weapon. So the damage is definitely there. I think this is a very strong and viable weapon for both strength and intelligence builds. Uh, so it's gonna be exciting to see what all can be accomplished with this in the future. All right, that's going to be it for this one, everyone. Thank you for your time and watching the video. We appreciate it as always. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the bell button down below for more content like this, as well as the follow-up videos for the Blunderbuss. And go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what kind of uh, builds have you been trying with the blunderbuss have you learned any tips any secrets anything like that let me know what you think about the weapon itself thanks for watching as always and we will catch you in the next video